Hi, welcome to Next Level Martial Arts. I'm James Terlecki. I'm here with my friend and student, Jesse Bell. Today we're going to be demonstrating the basic Kimura from the guard. Okay, so I have Jesse in my closed guard, and he's sitting his way back, hands are posted on the ground. Okay, this is a very basic setup. There's a lot of setups that we could do to catch a Kimura. Uh, today we're not going to do that. We're just going to show the basic details uh, of the first one here. So anytime the guy's hands are planted on the floor is when I have the opportunity to do a Kimura. So first thing I'm going to do is grab his wrist with my close arm. Okay, so I'm going to grab just like this, open my, open my legs. Okay, from here I'm going to sit across on my elbow. I don't want to sit straight up this way. It's too hard. Okay. I'm going to open my legs and I'm going to sit across on my elbow. And once I get here, I don't have a great angle. Okay. Plus I'm too close to his arm. So when I sit across here, I'm going to, my foot is posted on the ground and my elbow and I've moved my hip out a little bit, which makes space, create space for me to come through and grab my wrist. Okay. And I just have a monkey grip on his wrist, just like this, and grab my own wrist. And I want to keep like a 90 degree bend in his arm here. Okay. I don't want him to straighten out his arm. Okay. From here, I'm going to pull back, okay, go towards the mat, and as I do, I want to glue his elbow to my chest. Okay. I want to stay tight here. From here, this foot will hook on his back, and now I'm going to move my hips out, just keep shimmying off his back a little bit until I'm on my side. Okay. If I'm flat on my back, let's go back here. If I'm flat on my back trying to finish this, I don't have a great leverage point here. He could resist, especially if he's a big, strong guy. I'm not going to get this. My greatest leverage point is when I move my hips out and get completely on my side, just like this. Now I keep this elbow glued to my chest, and it's my whole body, okay? My whole body taking the arm to the floor, okay? Um, very important as well, once I get here, move my hips out, if I keep this leg here, not over his back, he's just gonna roll out. Right, good, let's go back. Okay, so when I'm here, I gotta keep this heel down, okay? You could cross your feet if you want, or just keep this foot planted tight, right up against his body. And again, glue his elbow to your chest, and go with your whole body down. And again, most important thing, keep on your side. I do not want to be up flat on my back. I want to be all the way on my side. Okay, let's do it one more time. Let's go from this side. Okay, so we're here. Put my feet down, sit across on my elbow, move my hips back, grab my wrist. I gotta stay strong here. One of the biggest mistakes is people let go of this and try to get it back. You can't do it. You guys, you go through, you gotta connect and stay connected. If the guy's real big or has, you know, your arms aren't that long, just grab up a little higher on the wrist and a little lower on his arm down here and you'll be able to connect. And again, I'm gonna go back, leg goes over. Sometimes I'm not able to shimmy off his back because he drops his weight flat on my leg. So now I can't shimmy, I'm kind of stuck. So what I do is I trap his leg so he can't escape, and now I just move my hips out from here, just pushing off the ground. Now I'll connect and I'm back in the same spot, keep his elbow glued to my chest, and again my whole body taking the arm forward to the ground and getting the submission. Okay? And that's our Kimura from the guard.